What are you doing here? Yo, we just captured something on here. This is the one that we just captured. <gasps> Dude. Look at that. Oh, shit. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome in. My name is Jerrica. I am very obsessed with the paranormal. I have been passionate about it for over 23 years, and I like to react to YouTube paranormal investigators, especially Sam and Colby. I have been trying to react to other paranormal investigators, so if you like this type of content, please be sure to like and subscribe. If you have any YouTube paranormal investigators that you do like watching, comment them down below. I would love to check them out. I do have a list I'm starting of people who are recommending videos so be on the lookout for that and i do like to mention if this is your first time watching my videos i watch these paranormal videos slash investigations for the first time i always just am so excited to react to it for the first time with you guys i am very excited because today's video will be sam and colby's first visit to the conjuring house and I'm going to be completely honest, it took me a long time to react to this highly requested video because my first YouTube series on this channel was the Conjuring series during Hell Week of last year, and I got burnt out. So I am interested in taking a look again because there's a lot of drama actually happening with the Conjuring the Conjuring house and, and who owns it and it just would be interesting to see what if you guys know anything about it and what you guys have to say. I might mention something, who knows. I'm excited so let's just jump into it. So because I've started with Sam and Colby's videos, I got very used to their audio settings and I got used to adjusting to that and I've realized, which I'm very I'm very sorry. I should have did some more testing. I only did one and I was like, yeah, good to go. For Jake and Johnny's video, their audio is so much lower. And that's just on me. And I'm sorry. I, I mean, <laughs> audio is such a pain in the ass, you know? So um, I will be better is what I'm, was what I'm trying to say. Warning. The footage you're about to see includes communication with demon okay, communication with demonic entities and evil spirits. I believe a lot of the paranormal. I mean, I just I just believe good and bad energies, negative, positive energies, light and dark. And I'm so glad <laughs> that I can listen to these videos with headphones. I think I would be really scared if a lot of that stuff was spoken through the speaker. <laughs> I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but that's how I feel. Like I can already feel this place. Something about this place. I forgot. I forgot this is like kind of relating to the movie, so hopefully I don't scream. This isn't that right. Whatever was down there with us, Amanda, something stronger than I have ever come across in my entire life. I wonder how many videos Amanda has been in before this, like prior to this. I actually reacted to a video that she was. That was like the first time we saw Amanda, and it was just so different how she acted, how she approached herself. It, it was just like very interesting to watch. No, Stas. We ever do. This is why we do YouTube. I don't, we've never caught anything on the thermal thing, but that is a clear yeah, it's, ass it's, picture. It's, Two eyes, nose, mouth, haircut like that swooped over. From the people that lived through it, they said it was actually ten. Okay, so this guy is the prior owner to the Conjuring House, and the owner who has bought it now, that's actually in the new Sam and Colby Conjuring series. You actually do see her. She sits with the guys while Cody and Satori are reading them, and she just put out the most, in my opinion, as someone who has been in marketing for over seven years, not the best professional way to present yourself. 
um, especially as a business. So maybe I'll link the video down if I, you know, because I don't want to get off topic. I, if you guys want me to tell you my opinion, maybe I'll do a short video on it. Times worse in real life than the movie was. Real? Uh, what? Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I hate how I'm covering my eyes here when I have another monitor here that literally shows the video. I'm okay, I'm out. Literally going to cry. I actually saw that. I thought it was a little kid. I don't know. That wasn't a little boy. Oh my god. Ew. If you want me to know what I think about The Conjuring House and you don't want to watch the other series of the videos, I think there's nothing evil that lives there. I think that when there's a place that people have sto negative stories or negative thoughts, it starts to create an entity or an energy and I think that's what's projected. That's what I think. But we'll see what I think after I watch this. Didn't they also start their newer Conjuring series in on a carousel as well? What's up guys, it's Sam and Colby. Today we are going to be going to the Conjuring house. We decided because that is so demonic and- He has Stoss in the back? Not Stoss, I'm sorry. Oh, I forgot her name. Gary, we had to, you know, start off a little more fun. We're having some fun. <laughs> We're having some fun. It's kind of fucking scary, dude. It goes fast, man. Smell with Addie. One day. What? <laughs> one day. <laughs> Guys, this looks like we're going straight into a modern day horror movie. I was gonna we say horror. Yeah. They made a movie that came out like three weeks ago. I can already feel this place. Like I'm starting to sweat. Something about this place just isn't right. Private property, no trespassing. <laughs> oh my god, this is it. <gasps> Who is that? Is that a ghost? Dude, it's gonna be so scary. Hello? <gasps> Baby. This isn't a bad house. Nice to meet you. Yes, Jennifer and Corey. This past Monday. Well, really? Okay. You're liking this so far? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a roller coaster. It took us like four months to sleep in the house. Yeah. Really. We slept in one room, all in one room for. I wonder if they are just care not caretakers, but like, I wonder if they don't if they actually stay in there or they just stay in there for other reasons. Like, for like I don't, I don't know if that's their permanent house. Is what I'm trying to say. Okay, we're not prepared for what we're about to experience. Okay, we were not because it's affected us so much. It's only fair to let you know before you experience it too. Yeah, no, I'm. I don't think. I mean, I've been to haunted places before, but I don't know. Before we start this video. Just kind of wanted to give a little disclaimer that what we experienced in the conjuring house was no joke we're usually used to dealing with things like spirits or or ghosts um but this was this was something else it was we think we think we were dealing with demons again just like the queen mary we kind of threw these guys in the deep end um like straight demonic stuff and i think sorry my head is unfortunately hiding Colby right now. I think it went a little bit too far. Um, you'll see later in the video, we, we kind of push our limits on this one. Because of that, we've been talking nonstop about this for, what, two weeks now? And because this did, like, kind of actually affect us, being so new back into Haunted again and being completely new to Haunted stuff, we just wanted to, to say this is gonna get real. I remember like after we left the house, you know, driving, I, I didn't say a word, I didn't say anything. I was like shocked because I 
I saw some. I think Stoss is very in tune, like, like almost like pretty much like an empath. Thing that I never imagined I would see in my life, and it was so real. Like I want to cry thinking about it. She's so pretty. I, like you guys know, I talked to you guys about it. Like I couldn't sleep for yeah. so long. Like even now, like I close my eyes and I see that image of you know that figure, and it. Mm -hmm. It's Ew. just terrifying. Not a day has gone by where we haven't talked about it. Yeah, we've no. talked about this every single day since we left. I keep thinking of the feeling that I had when I was in that house. I keep replaying it in my head. It's just Katrina. I'm sorry, it took me so long to remember her name, but she's also so pretty. Like, really terrifying. The Conjuring stuff, they were movies, but this house is for real, and we definitely captured that. To an extent, we weren't really prepared for. This is the it's most a, we've isn't it like based on it though? Ever. And that's saying a lot. We've been doing this for five years. So with that being said, hope you enjoy our conjuring experience. Oh man, I'm scared. I don't really get scared for hot places usually. I was very very scared to come to this place. I'm yeah, I'm not, not kidding. Not. I felt nerves like coming here for like, sure. This I is could a big deal. Throw up right now. Well guys, we made the real actual Conjuring house. If you've seen those movies, obviously they are not real, but they're based on an actual thing that happened here at this house. By the way, guys, we are here with the three lovely ladies, Cat, <laughs> Stas, and Amanda. Amanda can actually speak to the dead. So they bring me here. <laughs> <laughs> You guys, my name is Amanda Ray, and for those of you who don't know me, uh, I'm a medium, which means that I can see and speak to people who have passed on. This has been something that I've been doing since before I was able to speak. Wait, what did it say about? On. Usually apart from, wait, okay, usually apart from the use of witchcraft. Okay, I was like, no, you can... Pretty much be a medium, you don't have to be an in witchcraft, but I was reading it wrong, I'm sorry. Uh, this has been something that I've been doing since before I was able to speak. So we're gonna see if we can contact anything, see if she picks up on any spirit, any demon, whatever could be here. We're in the history of this horrifying place. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, let's go take a tour and uh, first impressions and everything. Let's yeah. do it. <laughs> <laughs> so Puppies! Are all, like, the people that have been here before? Yep. There's exploring with Josh right there. He's a fucking douche. Really? <laughs> he is. <laughs> Drama. Do you guys know anything about that person? I'm gonna say Josh spoke so. Bro, I spoke right here. I can't even That's my bro. What is Seth doing there? So random? Question mark? Is that random? I feel like it's random. <laughs> what? What was that? Is there like a priest around here just in case? Yeah. The waiver just basically, if you get scared and jump out the window, you'll pay for your own medical bill and replace one. Yeah, that's valid. That's understandable. Violent spiritual attacks is uh, number 12 on here. Demonic possession, violent spiritual attacks, electrical shock. I think I've ever been more scared to sign something. Jeez, take yeah. that from your grandma, don't you? <laughs> oh my god, yeah, dude. Like a C minus. Explore sticker. There right, you so go. Inside the wall, it's tour time. We're gonna take a look around and uh, hear some stories from these different rooms. Let's go. Let's do it. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Get all the. Conjuring's actually my one of my favorite, like, I would say top three favorite paranormal movie series. Oh my god. Creepy posters wow. everywhere. Oh my god, that's oh horrifying. The nun's kind of lame, but oh my god. still creepy. Okay, I just turned itself off. Did it? Yeah, like gonna, I... It's gonna be bad. What? Really? What do you mean? When it starts sucking energy like that? Yeah, I know. Yeah, when it starts, like they're already... I, I always, I think I, oh, I mentioned this in my other videos, but people who are like tour guides, I wonder if... I wonder if they like love this or do they just love the property? L meaning like the paranormal. Draining batteries and stuff. Uh, I don't You'll have a good that. night. Just went to the Lizzie Borden house really? and drained three batteries in two hours. Have you ever had any mediums come here? All kinds. What are your experiences with that? I mean, it's a mixed bag. I mean, some feel something, some 
don't, you know. Um, the female mediums usually have a harder time here because there is a male presence. They say there's a male entity. He's very, very old school. Whenever they present themselves to him, he's like, why are you talking to me? Where's where's the men? Before we get started on this tour, could you uh, please just like introduce yourself for fans and followers and stuff like that? No. <laughs> My name's Corey Heinzen. I'm the co-owner of The Conjuring House and investigating for about 12 years. I like long walks on the beach and right. supersize my value meals. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, and if you have any stories in specific rooms, that would be awesome as well. If there's like one time this table oh. flipped over. Okay. <laughs> Actually, where we said the first four months that we lived here, that room and this room we lived in. Mm -hmm. I mean, we did use the other rooms, but we stayed in these two rooms for a reason. We just wanted to give them space yeah. and not invade on it. Them? That makes sense. Yeah. The day we moved in, we had doors opening. Maddie heard growling. The nah. first night that we left this open, we actually had a full body shadow figure standing here looking at us. Oh, what? Wow. Both uh, me and Jen saw it, which was awesome because that's a personal experience. We didn't get it on film, but we both experienced it at the same time. Whoa. Uh, and we bo crazy. both can describe it. And Did stuff it like do that. anything or just like stand there and like. It, it just stood there and like I knew I saw it. And I've seen shadow figures before, just not as well defined as this. I'm sitting there staring at it and Jen's like, what the hell is that? She said it out loud and as soon as she said something, it just zipped out of the way real quick. This, mm. They move really, really quick. I mean, this is why we're here. We're investigators. This is what we're Okay. We Okay, so he is an investigator. Okay, that makes makes make that makes sense. But I like the paranormal. I like I said, I love the paranormal for over twenty three years. But you will never see me investigate a place. <laughs> I'll go to a place for sure. I have, but never, 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 never. Too scared. main story, the actual true story that's not like the movies, is 100% way scarier. We're gonna tell you what we know about that right now, because we did some research. This was called the Arnold Estate, and it was a farmhouse. The same family grew up here, generations came here, died, came here, died. Since 1680. Now, fast forward to the 1900s, the Perrin family, who we're gonna reference often, mm -hmm. bought this house, and when they got the keys from the previous owner, the owner literally was like, yo, keep the lights on at night, like, it gets scary. By the time that they moved out, the Perrin family family describe it as a portal secretly disguised as a farmhouse this house is a portal secretly disguised as a farmhouse but the main haunt to the Perrin family was based on Bathsheba Sherman Bathsheba was a witch in all these movies and a lot of people think she's not real she is a real person she lived at one point it was in the 1800s she lived right down the street she was like only mentioned in the series the first year the last series that they did like maybe once and they did like four videos, I she think. She was their neighbor. Now obviously there's rumors as to if she is a actual witch or not, but three of her kids never made it to age seven. Bathsheba Sherman was watching me babysitting this child and in her presence, a child died. The child died from convulsions. That was all because there was a puncture wound on the back of this child's head. Like a little sewing needle. Obviously, everyone broke out and was like, oh god, this Bathsheba girl is a murderer. She went to trial, but she got acquitted. But the entire town, like, ended up- I don't remember this story. Ended up hating her. They're like, what the heck? Similar to kind of the Lizzie Borden case. Do you Very, notice that? I do love- I know this is not, like- I knew this wasn't gonna be like the same video, even though it was the same location, but I do like that they approached it differently. So far. Most famous ghost hunters in the world, Ed and Lorraine Warren, came here to investigate, and this is their most famous case ever. Ever! So think about that. The two most famous ghost hunters in the world. They basically started paranormal investigating, actually. Like, we should, like, thank them for our YouTube channel right now, because yeah. they are the original OG investigators. Like, Lorraine had a psychic medium power. They came here because of all the crazy hauntings. They were saying there's horrible things happening, beds shaking, like, shadow fish. Years. Movies don't give it justice for how insane this house has been with hauntings. Ed and Lorraine Warren came here to this room right here, the seance room. They got Carolyn Perrin. She had been having a lot of struggles, a lot of things. She thought that she was possessed. They ended up doing a full-on exorcism in this room. While they were doing this exorcism, she ended up getting a ton of scratch marks, bruises, speaking tongues, and then- Levitating. 
levitating. She was levitated and thrown all the way across. The parents got so fed up with that because they're like so scared of what is happening to the wife that they kicked Ed and Lorraine out. He even went as far to like punch him in the face. Yeah, that's crazy. That's insane. But overall, Ed and Lorraine Warren said that this house is haunted by a malevolent spirit and they think that it was Bathsheba Sherman who at the time was considered a witch. Why? Because the mom, Carolyn, also experienced little tiny puncture wounds in her legs that were like the size of a sewing needle, which is what was rumored Ew. that she would use to kill that baby. Corey I don't says remember not this. only Bathsheba Sherman haunts this place, but there is also a male malevolent spirit. I think the scariest part is that Ed and Lorraine, they weren't our normal investigators, they were demonologists. Oh, There's yeah. a huge difference, guys. Like this place, like it might not be spirits. Let's go uh, catch some demons. I mean, <clears throat> ghosts. <clears throat> Okay, this isn't the real Annabelle doll, just so you guys know. Oh, oh okay. could you imagine? Oh That's my god. It's just a real one. <laughs> it's just mm -hmm. something somebody made for us. That's what I thought. But that is horrifying. That is like, yeah. yeah, just casual like devil thing right there. Yeah, what's <laughs> up? <laughs> this room was actually uh, what they call the baking room. Whoa, that's sick. That's Ooh, cool. Dude, this was actually the living room. Oh shit! Okay. Raise my door. This door started opening a lot on its own. When this door started opening on its own, they said like the paranormal activity increased on this floor. So they made this into the family room because nobody was in here by themselves. This room right here. I never trust old, like very old doors like that. I lived in a in misery in a historical home built in the 1800s. And doors never stayed shut. And it was not haunted. <laughs> I mean, I definitely felt some sort of thing there. Um, but it's just like, that's just, it just doesn't, it, the floors, I don't know. They just like, they weren't even and et cetera, whatever. They just never really stayed open or stayed closed. Here, if you want to open this door and present yourself, this is usually where that guy hangs up. Do you have people report a lot of children here? Yes. There's children uh, back there too. Yeah. They uh you'll usually they're more prevalent upstairs. Yeah. <laughs> oh you know, um, but you'll hear them skittering and running around and stuff. They will talk out loud sometimes. They're like behind the door, they keep peeking. Yeah, peeking around out. the corner. What? Oh my god. You guys are like agreeing on this? You're dead on, which is awesome. What are you feeling? Go for it. Yeah. There's two children in here. One of them is so, so shy, and the other one is like, you come chase me, you know? Like, come after me. <laughs> so that's why I was like, should I go after them? And that's why I was trying to like get back here, but that one that's so shy just walked up the stairs, and the one that's like, come with me is going back here. Huh. Wow. Now, you, now this is the oldest part of the house. This was like a really happy place in the home when yeah. they lived here. I love it in here. Really? That's so interesting. Yeah, I do. Now, if you notice, you're probably feeling happy because of all this stuff that's hanging up. It all wars off you. Frankincense, myrrh, sleigh bells, and stuff like that. And that's why a lot of people just use this room as a command center, if you will, because they... they feel fine in this room. With like the reaching out and like talking to spirits, is there any like rules you don't want us to like break or, or can we reach out and like- Oh, absolutely. Here? Okay. No, absolutely. The only, be respectful. That's the biggest thing. A lot of people have the inkling that, you know, just if nothing's happening, be like, hey, you know, it's yeah. not something they chat. And it's like, dude, you might get something, but it's not going to be what you want. You provoke something in here yep. and it gets pissed off. You guys leave yeah. and I'm like, well, thanks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, these are steep stairs. Yeah, these are really steep. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Um, so that's why we signed the way. I don't know why that was a thing back then, but yeah, the, the house that I was speaking about, the stairs are very steep. Scary, actually, to get down. Wow, I just oh. hit my head. Oh. Uh, not as much activity in this room as the middle bedroom. The middle bedroom is where, like, all hell breaks loose usually. What does that mean? Uh, <laughs> it's the most active. If you read in the book, How's the Dark? I actually want to watch, Andrew, uh, read these. Sister, Cindy, she got tormented the worst by the spirits. The bed would levitate. Um, she'd get scratched. She'd get pulled out of bed. On one occasion, the bed was levitating, and she was told there were seven dead soldiers buried in the wall. This is horsehair plaster. You ain't got to put a body in there unless you put it in a blender, pour it in. <laughs> Um, so oh, that's we, a kind of gruesome. <laughs> after we purchased the house, Roger Perrin came here and he said, I feel if you look on the back wall, there's actually a retaining wall out back. Mm. He's like, look back there because it didn't have to be inside the house. Mm -hmm. So what we did was we brought ground penetrating radar and did the entire grounds, including the basement. And over here, see the green markers outside? Yeah. So yeah. we came up with 
anomalies down there. Eight feet wide, six feet deep. Oh. So about six feet deep. Caskets. Exactly. Anyways, fast forward to the fall time. We were doing our live stream with Nick Groff. Nick got all excited and he was like, gotta get another ground radar team here to look into it and just focus on that area. And they did and they came up with five grave shafts. What? So bodies in the backyard. Yes. Right wow. next to the wall. So she was right, just randomly. Yep. Oh my Not god. Random. That is crazy. Ah. The King Phillips War was huge around here. 1674 to 1676. Her captain, the bloodiest war that was ever fought on American soil. And it was just that immense bloodshed stigmatized this ground. So that's what you're dealing with. So not only the scary spirits in here, but also just the bloodshed of war. Right. <laughs> what is that? Dude, that looks like... That looks like a little boy handprint. And she just said she saw a little kid up here. So I was just telling him when I came in here, I, I hated in here. Uh, that's what I was saying when we walked in over here. This room is horrible. Freaks me mm -hmm. out. I, I sure it's just horrified to go in here too. Yeah, yeah, I didn't want to walk in I here. I grew up in a very dark home, and this reminds me a lot of that place. Yeah. Like, I can't breathe. Yeah, yeah I kind of feel like a, <laughs> like I a like, stuffy. Huh? This is the room that we get the most activity. This room and the room down right below it. These are the two most active rooms. To this day? Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is where we get a lot of shadow figures. If you can, lay down on the bed. Let your eyes get used to the dark. You'll actually see these shadow figures start to form. Ew. They're in here now. Are they? Yeah. Who? The, the little kids? Yes. I was looking at them stand on the bed right before you said that. A little further back is where I was seeing them. Um, wow. What is this? That's a cat ball. Something taps it or something like that, it'll go off. That whole, I feel like I'm being watched. The hair stands up. Yeah, stuff like that. That's actually your sixth sense. Cavemen had it because they used to get hunted. We don't get hunted anymore, yeah. so you don't, see? Oh, oh my God. You, as you just said, look at my oh, hair. No, no, just all of my hair is going Oh out. my God. Do you guys hear whistling in here all the time? We have. That's not, it like literally was like. This is the birthing room? The birthing room. Oh. Yeah, just watch your head if you go in there. I read about this. The reason they had their kids in there is because right here was a fireplace. So it would stay warm in the winter time. Oh, oh, gotcha. Dude, how are you feeling? Are you good? Because I'm actually scared. I mean, I get scared sometimes with these places, but this is like a whole nother level of uncomfortable. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, what are you playing in I'm the sand? I'm playing in the sand. Why Me when I'm nervous. Like, that chair is completely blurry. Is that the shadow behind it? It's a shadow. Yeah, it's probably. It shadow. looks so crazy. <laughs> it looks like there's a blur effect. It looks like there's a blur effect. This room, like, I don't love it, but I can breathe in it. That room, yeah. I felt like somebody like I couldn't expand my lungs to breathe. Like, yeah, I also felt sick in there too. This room's not nearly as bad, but yeah. When I, do you hear that? What? What was that? Did you hear the knocking? I thought. Yeah, I thought that was just their footsteps. Did no, you? It was over here. Really? Exactly. Yeah, that's so that's over here in this bed. That's where I said that I was seeing people. It feels like a man, but I can't tell if it's a man or if it's a woman. But it's just a shadow figure. Like you know how people describe that. Yeah. But I can always tell what they are when I'm like with shadow figures. Yeah, that makes sense. And this one's just like. Just like watching us. Oh God! Okay. Only to the basement core yelled that an uh, an audible said, oh, what that's, you guys "Hey that Sam." Now? It just said, "Hey Sam." Ew. What? No. Well. That came from behind. It did. Over here. It sounded like um, like a man almost. Yeah. Like so you're saying a, a man's voice just says, "Hey Sam." Yeah. Just said, "Hey Sam." Fuck. It projected from down yeah, here. It was, like, it was like, hey, Sam. It whispered, but it was so loud when it said it. Like, does that make sense almost? Do you hear yeah. that? I feel sick. Really? Actually? Yeah. No, this is the area that you'll get a lot of activity. This is where someone died. That's back here, huh? Yes. Wow. What? That's fucking crazy. That's insane. My camera won't focus at all. Is it because you got all this stuff here, though? It's everywhere down here. Oh my god, just completely out of focus. Everywhere. Do you just keep snakeskin right there? Oh my god. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm, you didn't put that there, that snakeskin? No. Oh! Okay, see, I'm scared of Don't touch my back. Here. I didn't touch your back. What the fuck what is, is going on? I mean, I'm like, can't focus right now. We're sleeping in a haunted house. With snakes. You have serpents. A lot of people associate that with like... The devil, right? Yeah. yeah. Do you ever use prayer to like help fight against the demons? Or? No. I did help with an exorcism one time. And Were they trying to like 
hurt people? Like, or... No, no. What I noticed was physical changes in the person. I didn't know this, but like, say Sam and Kobe are doing a Ouija board session and they don't close the session out properly and something actually comes through. If it is an inhuman spirit, demonic, what have you, it can jump between the two. So it can be on him. If he's getting help for it, it can just leave and go to him. Oh, I wasn't aware of that. Okay. So Past I walked demons. into it not knowing it. It was a boyfriend girlfriend kind of thing. He was a geek. She was a very attractive young lady, and he he made a deal with something. And he's like, you know, you can have my soul as long as you know she'll stay with me. But I was sitting with the girlfriend. All of a sudden, she started reacting to it. Like her feet started swelling up. She had scratches and bruising appearing. Her eyes were rolling back. What? Like you her mom's like this? looking at it. Yeah, her mom was sitting there with me. I'm like. I didn't know what to expect. Is this considered the seance room? No, seance room actually, sorry, we walked right through it. So this is the seance room. Warren's performed the seance uh, October 30th of 1973. It went bad and Carolyn Perrin was the one that paid the ultimate price. What happened was the Warren showed up along with a priest, uh, another psychic and performed the seance. Obviously the conduit is supposed to be the psychic that's conjuring up whatever it is. And instead of it attaching to the psychic, it jumped to Carolyn Perrin. She started speaking in tongue, writhing around and all this and that. It culminated with her getting thrown into the next room. She hit with so much force, they didn't know whether she was alive or dead. Wow. Roger Perrin got up to check on her. Ed got in between them and said, you can't touch her. She's possessed, you become possessed. And he ended up punching Ed in the face. Oh. And they kicked the I do remember reading that. Is that the last time the Warrens were welcome here? Yep. People reported a woman in a nightgown here, a white nightgown. Yep. Just saw her. What? Oh my god. What the fuck? Wow. I think I did mention this with Amanda. It's so hard because I don't know if I mean, I feel like with this one, they had to tell Amanda where to go. But the first video that they went to, which I think was the, um, the axe lady, I forgot her name. She, Amanda came off very much like, it sounded like she knew this place, so she just kept saying stuff that you can probably find on Google. And, I mean, I, I, I do believe her, for sure, when she talks about the connections, but... I don't know. I just feel like a lot of the stuff you could just like look on. Like I would love to see her investigate something without literally any no like literally any knowledge of the location until she's there. Is that a nightgown? She it was not it's maybe like not a nightgown, one. it's a dress. It's a yeah, like a white dress. See that I don't know, it's weird. <laughs> a little flowy at the end, it had nice little lace. Like it was a nice dress. It had a collar that came up to here. She had like darker hair. See no, I we couldn't make that out. All I know was it was white. Yeah. And it moved so fast. It was outside. This thing went across the porch and just stayed at the same height. And just she was moved. tall, too. Yeah. She was standing right here watching. And when I looked up, I, like, fully noticed her. And we kind of just, like, stared at each other for a second. And then she just walked this way. Left. So she saw you. Like, she made, no, yeah, yeah, like, she like, made contact. Like, you, like, just like you and I are looking at yeah. each other right now. We were looking at each other. And then she stopped the other way, never looked at me again, and left. But she knows I can see her. Yeah. Spirits so, often do that. I call spirits that were people spirits, and yeah. I call the other ones entities or demons because I believe that's what they are. But oftentimes when I see spirits, it's kind of like weird to say, but they're selfish. They always have something to say. They want to get a message across. She didn't. Yeah. She looked at me. She knew I could see her, which probably doesn't happen too often. She acknowledged me and then she left like she didn't need anything from me. This was Roger and Carolyn's bedroom, right underneath the middle bedroom. Oh, wow. So we get a lot of activity in both rooms. I see. You get a lot of activity in here? Yeah. Like books flying across? And... Yeah. We've had the same book fall off the, we've caught it on camera twice. Moral Relativity. This book right here. Corey shows security camera footage. What's weird is, it's if weird. you look, most of these books have like pieces of paper in them. Mm -hmm. You open them up, a lot of them have been highlighted, have notes in them and stuff. This book hasn't been touched. It was almost like something was telling us to read it. Did but you? 
No. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's like your guys' opinion about the Conjuring movies comparatively to like what actually happened? Think it's a bad thing that they made all those movies and all that stuff, or is it good overall? Because it's completely different. Whoa! Whoa! What's going? What's going on? Are you good? Ugh! What? what? Bug just flew into my face. Oh. Oh my right fucking there. god. That Why scared did it do the... that? <sighs> Wait, it's... that just flew into my face. You okay? Ah! I didn't know what was happening. You like freaking. Yeah, you guys. Like... I know. I was like, earring just like, flew. Like, There's nothing touching you, but you're making me very nervous. <laughs> oh my god. That was scary. Are you okay? <laughs> my god. Jesus. I was like, are you fucking okay, possessed or something? That creeps me <laughs> out. Completely silent. I was like, oh, you guys do not have that. Oh my god, it's coming. It's alive still. Oh, kill it. Moving. Kill it with fire. <laughs> She's a murderer. Shut the glizzy Borden. Too <laughs> soon. <laughs> what was the question? Oh, <laughs> so, the conjuring. The conjuring, yeah. Do you think that's like a decently accurate representation or do you not like it? Honestly, like, I personally like the movie. Um, as far as accuracy, from the people that lived through it, they said it's about half accurate. If you read the books that Andrea wrote, it was actually 10 times worse in real life than the movie was. Really? Well, what? She oh. actually gave a copy of her books to the screenwriters and the screenwriters are like, we can't put this in the theater. We can't get an R rating on it. If we were trying to capture something, what would be like, do you think, the best plan of action for us to go about? And then I, if you can go by yourself. Mm -hmm. Oh my. I know, I know it's hard, but that's when you're most vulnerable and that's when they like to make contact. All right, Sam, so, uh... <clears throat> Why is that always me? Sam's one that asks. Oh, no. Jesus. <laughs> always be recording. Not only on that, but, like, voice recorders, stuff like that, because they will talk. You seeing something over there? Yeah, outside. They just keep walking by and walking by and walking Who? by. Who? What keeps walking by? There's three men outside. Can you tell how they dress? They're all wearing the same thing. It's like, it's not white, it's like beige. They all have hats on, but one of them has a different hat than the other. Wide brim? Yeah. And there's something shiny on their chests. Like, it almost seems like they're not aware of us going on and lights being on in here, like... Like, they, they've been dead for it. <laughs> what was that? Okay, that was, that was, did you hear the, did you hear the whistle? Yeah. I heard the whistle. Are you... Recording. recording that we definitely just got a whistle. Yeah, yeah. Oh my yeah. god, I heard the whistle. I'm fat. <laughs> How would that create a whistle? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I no, 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 it was like a whistle, like, like it was distinct. Yeah, I heard that. Was it in the basement or was it in the basement? Was it was like, no, that was upstairs. upstairs. No, I heard, I heard, you heard it. I heard it too. I thought it was That's upstairs. why I looked at you guys. I was like, did anyone else hear that? I was hoping it was an animal outside. Like, they, 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 that was it. Who was that? No. Go back. No, I think that was a laugh. Was a laugh. There was a knock. You guys didn't okay. hear a knock? Like, it almost seems like they're not aware of us going on or lights being on in here. Like, like they've, they've been dead. Right there. Like, no, 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 no. like they've, they've been dead. I thought that was Amanda knocking on the door, on the, the table. Clearly it's going well for us. Um, and I can still hear the whistling back up there. Do you have, um, noise canceling headphones by any chance? Yep. I would love to put noise canceling headphones on with the spirit, spirit box in here and have you guys ask questions. Oh, you want to do the Estes method? The what? It's called the Estes method. Sensory deprivation. They can base their questions off of what you're saying. Okay. Or they say the questions first and then see what you respond. Alright, well let's see if things start speaking to me more than me just seeing them and we can decide. It's up to you guys, it's your video, I'm here to help you, whatever you guys want to do. I mean, that sounds awesome. Be careful how long you spend doing that. If you go for too long, mm -hmm. like, it's gonna mess you up. Nope. Really? Yeah. Oh, how? It, it just will. Oh. I, I, I don't know how, I, I'm just telling you. It happened before, Tevin? Yeah. If I start feeling something bad, I'll cut it off. So we just talked to the owner, Corey. Awesome dude. Huge shout out to him for showing us all this information. A lot of stuff that we didn't even know. No, so we've no. researched this place a lot, obviously seen the movies. Overall though, how are you feeling? When we first walked in here, I felt, uh, and it could have been just like anxiety about this whole situation, but like I felt very stuffy, I felt anxious, but now I'm feeling like a lot more comfortable. I feel the most comfortable when like it's just our group and nobody else, so I'm, I'm ready to go. Guys, we're doing this for you. We're going back 
to Haunted, so we really hope that you are enjoying our videos. If you are, the best way to show us that is by leaving a like. How many likes to stay overnight alone here? Just kidding. Come back here? Wait, actually. Later in the year, Just you and, I. and one of us sleeps in the basement, one of us sleeps at the top. Fuck no. If they get like Dude, that would a be million insane. likes, I'll do that. But oh my god. A million? How about something a little more real? Dude. A quarter million. Oh my god. If they can get 300,000 likes, I'll think about it. Quarter million. Fuck! Wait, quarter million? You want to stay upstairs by yourself? Yeah. And I'm in the basement. Yeah. The fuck? It's like only if they get it. That actually happens in the newer series, so. Sometime this year. Oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> that just made my eyes wide. <laughs> Why did we do that? I don't know. Alright, guys, so if you want to see that alone here in the house later in the year, quarter million likes, we just signed our life away. Analytics Wait, show. Wait, okay, so this video got 1.4 million. That's crazy. Oh, only half of you guys that watch our videos are subscribed. What's up with that? It takes five seconds, so I'm gonna give you five seconds right now. To go down there, click subscribe, click notifications. Ready? Five. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Take it's if you didn't quicker. Do it, I'm, I'm pissed. All right, let's start this freaking investigation. Yeah, We're well. gonna set up a bunch of these ping pong balls and bells up against all the doors in certain areas so that we can capture any motion. We'll go oh, I like to that. See if there's anything that we can capture as well. There's tons of videos of YouTubers going to the Conjuring house and investigating and seeing what they can find, but like you guys stepped it up bringing someone who can see them. She said that last time when they went to the Lizzie Borden house. Oh no. I saw something that I never imagined I would see in my life. I wanna cry thinking about it because I like I couldn't sleep for so long. Like even now, like I close my eyes and I see that figure. Oh, I'm literally going to cry. I actually saw that. What did you see? Like it like peeped its head around that couch. What did you see though? Oh you I, just... I, I thought it was a little kid. I don't know. It's not a little kid. It looked like a little kid like peeped around and then it went back. Like right behind that right little here. couch? Keep the what the hand. fuck? I don't understand. I keep looking at you. I'm telling you, I don't like that room. Oh, I just put protection over Staffs and Cat. Nothing is allowed to touch you. Nothing is allowed to come near you. You might see things. Dude, it's that just I can't that, stop. That freaked me out. We got the duty of going upstairs. How did we get so lucky? <laughs> I know, the most haunted spot. There's something in that back room. I just watched it. I didn't tell Stoss yet. I told you guys before we ever even came here when I was yeah. getting the lowdown on spirit. They disguise themselves as children, pets. Oh, they disguise themselves. That's why she goes, I just saw the little boy, and I let her know that it's not that a little not boy. A little boy. So when we first came here, there were two children I yeah. told you about, right? Right, and they were happy, right? Yeah, they were trying the, to like play games. One of them was shy, the little girl was shy, but the boy, he kept like peeking his head around the corner, like, are you gonna come like, chase come on. me? Yeah. yeah. So I think it's insane that when the negative thing came through, it disguised himself as a little boy. Interesting. Shot. As scared as she was, like, yeah. would feel more comfortable with it because I told her about the little boy here. Definitely, yeah. Poor Stas. Oh my God. What? This closet is huge. It goes like all the way around. It's like a secret crawl space area. This house has. Did you hear that in there? No, what was that? I missed it. Oh. Can you hear the walking? Yeah. That's the exact room that when we walked up here, I told you there was something back there. They got a bunch of things that like little kids would play with here too, like little toy cars. <laughs> the jelly beans? Jelly beans? Oh, put the car on the floor. All right, we're gonna find out. The number one question that people want to know is like, what do these spirits or entities or demons, whatever you see, look like? Are they happy? Are they expressionless? Is it as clear as like a person that you're seeing? It doesn't look like a person, but it'll be as clear as like, if you were standing there dressed in all black. I grew up with a spirit in my home and it Okay, they're coming okay Jesus, we're literally talking about demons and that happens, not down. The demon that I grew up in my house looked like a person most of the time. Mm -hmm. He was much, much taller, much, much thinner, and he had red eyes. I saw a spirit when I was with you, and you asked me to describe it. At the Lizzie Borden house? It was extremely tall, probably seven feet tall, very, very thin, like, unhumanly thin. We are in the seance room where Ed and Lorraine Warren performed a seance I'm scared. on Carolyn and she literally levitated. She is going to have noise canceling headphones on a spirit box, basically letting us know whatever she hears. We're going to be asking questions. As we were saying, we have ping pong balls here, bells 
all over the place. The so entire house, upstairs as well. If you hear anything happening, we'll be able to catch it. Starting this recording, see if we catch any EVPs. I but just said Borden. Borden? We just said that they're, they're very similar cases. Okay, I'm gonna yeah, turn on this right. other spirit box, put it right here just in case we get things as well. Is there any spirit here that wants to talk to us? Can you please like move something? Not Colby. Isn't that so? Really? Kill. Kill? Are okay, you why? a bad spirit? Kill Colby? All. Only. All only. Here. Is there anything here that can give us a sign at all? We have bells around this entire house. If you can just make them ring. We want to talk to you. There's someone here with us. Can you make yourself known if you're here with us? What was that? I heard something. Hear that. Shh. It sounded like a shuffle almost. Was that you that just made that noise? Yes. Yes? Oh. Can you make a noise closer to us? We'd love for you to come sit with us. Um, no. no? Sam? Sam, Let's can't. not. Okay, then unless you want to switch balls with me right now. Yo, is my chest red? It felt like something just scratched me. You know you're in this room with us. Can you show yourself? I'm here. He's here. He's here. Alright, Sam's trying this now. Do we have somebody... News. 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 Do you have any news for us? Is there news that you want to tell no, us? No, there was a hanging in the barn. A noose. Noose. Mm. Oh. Interesting. Just ask. Were you the person that got hung here? Help. Help? Are you the spirit that tormented the Perrin family? No one asked another question for a minute. God. Don't ask anything else. Wait. Not here. Who are you? Are you the demon that tormented the Perrin family? Possible. Are you Freedom. The, are you the- can you not leave? Are you trapped here? Do you need to escape? Modern gate. Is there some- Limits. Is there some kind of gate or limit and reason that you're not allowed to leave this home? Through. 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 Are you trying- me. I was literally about to say I feel like we're connected. There's a guy right over here. He looks like a soldier. Really? Like the story of the seven soldiers in the walls? Like he looks like one of the three that I saw walking outside. He's in like light Believe. Believe. He's in light colored clothes. Oh man. Hello. I was literally about I said to say, hello. I was literally about to say he wants to talk to us. Focus. We need to believe and focus more. Do you remember the parent family? Be with me. We're here. Underground. Underground. The basement. Do you want us stuck? To, do you want? Are you stuck, stuck in the basement? Do you want us to go to the basement? It's the graves, Please. right? What's in the basement? I heard that. Should we say that? No. Yeah. Heaven. I think there's a soldier here that's like saying that he just wants us to be with him and he's been trying to escape this sort of hell and find heaven, but he can't. Also, when we said like, do you want us to go to the basement? You said, please. I wrote down some things. I wrote not ever out. It was really difficult to hear when you guys weren't asking questions. Yeah, when we were all quiet, because we just tried to be quiet for a couple times, you would never say anything. We yeah, that's, that's weird. weird. I yeah. didn't even think about that. True. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. This is gonna be our last attempt to talk to anything here. Liberty. It's got a huge gust of cold. Right now? Mm -hmm. I did too. Please come. Do you want us to go to the basement? Lorraine. Stop. Lorraine? Stop. Stop. You knew Carol Lorraine. Lorraine. You knew no, Lorraine. Or Lorraine Warren. Okay. Immortal. I just put my pants because that's one of my middle names. Oh my god. Oh, that is your middle name. Oh yeah, name. that is. Bro, the lights are flickering in there. They just like went on and off. Is that you touching the lights? Enjoy. Did you know Lorraine? Video. Fear. Are you scared? No. Right now? Do you want us to be scared? Yes. Yours. It's 
your fear, not his. You think we're scared? He knows, he knows. Down. Come down. It's scary. Scary. Focus. What are you doing here? Family. You came for the- Stop right now. I'm scared of my- Demon, oh my god. Why would the radio say demon? That's Who the hell are you? I'm Amanda, who are you? Pale skin. I have pale skin. I do too. Oh shit. Hey, we need to stop. No. Yes, we're done. We're done. Tell, Tell him to stop. Tell him to stop. Tap him. He can't hear you. Tap him. Stop. We're done. We're done. She just said, we need to stop, and you immediately said no. Yeah. Oh, I just said fucking murder! Oh my god! If that happened in this room, imagine what's gonna happen in the most haunted room in the house. Yeah, like, oh technically god. this is not even close to the most haunted room. It's... I still wish something like around us would happen, so it's like visible to like everybody a, watching. Like a ball or something? Yeah. Let's move on. Alright guys, so we are in the middle bedroom upstairs, which is supposedly the most active single room. So right now we have a thermal gun to be able to see everything, and we're gonna use the ghost box again, and then lay down here, because he said once you lay down here for a while and be super still, and you can start to see shadow figures. Shadows will start to emerge, and it's like you have tunnel vision. We'll see what we end up catching. There's kid. a kid in the house. Kid yes. in the house. Okay. I don't want to see this stuff. Can I just like look down or something? Yeah. What you can't see can't hurt you, right? Who told you that? Is that how <laughs> I wish. I was going to say, you <laughs> should know. Oh, oh that yes. one's insane. Sam, is this supposed to make that noise? The clicking? Like yeah. That? Okay. That's like focusing. I always put protection over me and anybody that I'm with when we're doing stuff like this because we are messing with things that are greater than ourselves. So what I do, a lot of people do different things. Some people put up protection like a wall. They picture bricks and they'll build bricks up. Like that's their protection. Mine has always been, I imagine a ball of light. And I'm I don't imagine a ball of light. I imagine a, l a light above me that like shines down like this. Make it get bigger and bigger and I focus and it surrounds me and the people that I'm with. So I'm doing that right now with you and I. Thank you. And it's pushing back. Oh. It got bigger and bigger, which always does, and then it stopped and it went. And closed back in. Should we call out, ask questions, anything, or? Yeah. Um, it's an auto shut, oh. Hello? No, don't shut down. Hello? Why isn't it working? I just checked with full battery. Full battery? After messing with the device, we couldn't explain the random shutdown. Ew. We tested a few times to make sure it wouldn't go off again. Turn off again. While we tested it, Amanda caught the kid we've been seeing all night. Ew, really? Ew, so you here? Here? Yo. We just captured something on here. This is the one we just captured. <gasps> Dude. Look at that. Oh shit. Right. Ew! That is not a little boy. Right there. It looks like it's peering from behind the is corner. It literally, yes. That's how I saw it looks it. like a little kid. It didn't look like that when I pulled the trigger. Yeah, there's clear eyes and they're glowing too. Remember what I told you my demon looks like? Yes. Oh my fucking god. Dude, this is a hundred percent like a face. It almost has like sort of my haircut. Yes! <laughs> yeah. Haircut. No, actually it looks more of like Sam's haircut. Yes, but it's obviously a little boy peeking through this window right like, there. Amanda. I saw it peek out around the corner. That face wasn't on the thing when I took the picture. And I took the picture anyway because I could see it with my own eyes. And when I took the picture, that's what popped up right there. Look at that. Oh my god, his hair does look like yours. Didn't it say your name while we were it's down like there? It's like Colby Kill. Dude, that was crazy. I don't, we've never caught anything on the thermal thing. But that is a clear yeah, ass face. picture. If That's we can download creepy. this and, as like a JPEG or something and put it on the screen, we will. But that is like. That's 100% like, a clear kid. When you look at it like this. Kid. You two can see eyes, it. dude. Yes. You can literally, like, yes, dude. Oh my That's God. That's nuts. You can see all the features. Feature. On two eyes, nose, mouth, haircut like that, swooped over, and he's peeking around the corner. Like, That's a really clear image. Colby. Yeah. You want to come ask questions real quick? Sure. Um, let's... Immortal. Oh my God. Hand me. Hand you what? Free mind. The bed. 
The bed. We're on the bed. Okay. Are you on the bed? Look. Here. Look here. Under, Under bed. bed. Under bed? Did you? I literally said that at the exact Gun. same time. Who are you? Gotta get out. Do you need to get out? Watch. Watch for what? Six. Six? There's five of us. Are you the sixth? Them. Do you want to talk to us? Go. 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 You want us to leave? Can't stop. I just got my feet got really cold from under the bed. Someone should take that thing. That Guard. Is, it's under the bed. 9877. Are you under the bed? Old man. Well, it was a kid and now it's an old man. This it's not matter. either. We're not speaking with a thing. Uh Okay, well that's the scariest motherfucking thing I've ever heard all day. Oh my god, it's this so red. He's never alive. He can. He can be alive. No, he can speak to us. Pressure. So I have pressure in my head. Oh my god. What? One second. Under the bed? Under the bed? You yeah. got something? How do you store the photo? Uh Cole. You're done. Stop. Okay. What happened? Cole, that's his name. The sign. Yeah, Cole. Cole. Colby. When I was sitting on my bed, I didn't do it on purpose, but I felt like my head was being pushed towards that door. My head kept moving. Like, yeah, I, I did. I yeah. was watching you It the kept whole time. like, I felt like my face was like being pushed. That's where I saw movement. Wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. Do you guys remember um, in the briefing that you read me this morning, it talked about how sometimes when the woman who hung herself with the noose, they see her with the crooked neck. Yes, yes. There, there's so, actually a painting the, okay. of the woman with the crooked neck. I was hearing under the bed. Wait, it was... I just like something dragging. Yeah, I just heard it like a long dragging I sound from over there. Too. What did you see? You saw something. Look closely and like move this around. Isn't that a face with two yellow eyeballs like we just saw? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it does look like eyeballs. I don't like that it said your name. I mean, twice. Times. That like yeah. really scares me. Kind of want to. If you guys want to sit right there, or in there, I kind of want to like lay down on this for a second. Yeah, we'll go to downstairs. See. This is going to sound really weird. My hands might get hot, and you're going to feel something that you probably never felt before. It's going to feel like my energy is literally like you're sucking energy out of me. Accept it. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Okay. Kobe, mm-hmm. Whoa, it actually is hot. Yeah, it's getting hot. We are going to try to sit down on the bed just like what we told us to do and you guys Ew. see us downstairs for a sec? Yeah. yeah. Bye. All right. All right. See you guys in a second. See you later. Never coming back up here. Is that footsteps? Yeah, we told them to be quiet, so I don't know what that would be. It's so hard because like everything is like very echoey. Was that in there? So it could be like them downstairs. Yeah, it sounded like it was the, the door to that birthing room. If there's anything in here, please move a door, shake the bed, make a noise. We want to know that you're here. No, thank you. We attempted to make contact for about 10 minutes without much luck. Even when we were in the complete darkness. That Cory guy said alone though. So from here we decided to break, take a break and wait till 3 a.m. They are insane. All right, guys, so we took a little break. We went to the car and got some energy drinks. We also went to Mickey D's. <laughs> yeah. We got some food, and now we feel like shit. Yeah. That's why we Valid. Talk about I'm just kidding. Are you guys it's the same. To be back at the Conjuring House? I'm gonna throw degrees. up. I can't believe that we came back. Uh, what are we thinking? Just out of the stuff know. that we've already captured, now we're doing it again? Honestly. We still got the basement. Wait, what time is it? 2.30. No, 2 30 it's 2.33. Oh, <laughs> 3 a.m. is the witching hour. We have 30 minutes to set up. Final seance at 3 o'clock in the morning. And yeah! It's 
By the way, when we were oh, uh, walking to the car, a random car of teenagers pulled up here and just started screaming at us. That being said, I just want you to let you know that this would be a perfect time if you want to go grab the new Explore merch. <laughs> Link in description. Literally no better time than right before the sale. And subscribe. And subscribe. And like. Because again, 250,000 likes. We're going to be staying here alone and sad. Alone. You guys are and psychos. Naked. And naked. It's so crazy that they thought that it wouldn't make more than... They're like, no, let's just make it more realistic. Like, what? <laughs> That's pretty realistic for you guys. Naked and afraid. Naked and naked afraid. afraid. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> the Conjuring Edition. Oh my god. They have cameras all over this house. Like, damn it. We're just checking to see if any of the bells rang or ping pong balls moved. Fear I have upstairs walking in here is horrible. It's not chill. Like, this is so much worse than the first time. Worse? Up it's here? So much worse. We caught oh, things up the, here earlier. Right. This is right where we oh. caught that figure. Yeah. Right here. What? what the? Did you guys hear that knocking? Yeah, what was that? Was that behind you? Shh, 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 stop walking, stop walking, stop walking. As we were leaving, we talked to like the kids that live in the house or like friends and the people that live in the house and one of them is named Borden. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And it's related to Lizzie, like a fifth cousin or something like Seth. that. Like it's super That's Seth, yeah. Seth is yeah, why was Seth there? I don't get it. Related to Lizzie Borden, he comes to this house all the time. Like, how is that connection even a thing? What a, like, random occurrence, too. And Seriously. we just went there two days ago. Look, the fact that we run into him at the con. Seth's related to Lizzie Borden, and they just pulled up, and Seth was there? What the fuck? House? Not when not we just here at the Conjuring House, not at Lizzie Borden. Went over to the other house. Like, are you kidding me? That's so weird. Yeah. yeah. Small world, I guess. Shout out to Seth. Get... What? Oh, I, thought, I just thought I heard like an animal outside or something. Um, guys, we don't have a lot longer in the house. We're pushing it. Fifteen minutes till the witching hour. So yeah. in that time, remember at the very beginning, Corey said that one of the biggest like ghosts that mediums can usually see is right there in the main living room the door that we haven't opened yet oh, yeah none of us have been in there he's super old-fashioned so he's gonna be pissed that she can they see always him. hate women and the fact that i'm a woman that can see him it's gonna just piss rile him up but try it. i mean you guys brought me out to the conjuring house to get shit we already have let's go for it oh my god i'm scared i don't remember them going a woman was thrown across by a demon yeah. across this entire section of the home. Like, yeah. just a matter of so, boom. so severely that they thought she was dead. Not even just like a little levitation, whatever. That a would be a little levitation. That would be insane. Yes, I agree. But it fucking slammed her into the wall. I just saw the woman in white again. Oh, where was she? She's right over there. She walked up the steps. This and time when I saw her, she just bolted. I wonder if she is Abigail, because that was a huge thing in the new series. And yeah, I wonder if she was Abigail. Do this kind of upstairs, but like, what's their faces like? They're not, it's expressionless, right? You were kind of explaining. Yeah, so like, yeah, people ask me like, do they smile at you? Like, no, they kind of, they look like this all the time. Like, they're not, like, frowning. They're not smiling. Even evil ones? Evil ones are different. How different? <laughs> I, like, I get uncomfortable talking about it. Like, I break out in hives. It depends on what I'm seeing. So that spirit that you guys are going to put the picture of that I caught up in the room that I was looking at, I was staring at him, and I could see... I told you about the glowing eyes. Yeah. I could see his eyes more than anything. I could see that his face looked like a child, but his energy, he was not a child. Like he wasn't human. It was something so negative that that's why I told you to take off the headphones and that we were done to cut it. And I heard his name right before that, which yeah. is crazy. And it looked like you. Yeah, that's what was the craziest part. What? That it looked like you. Remember it looked like, I like you? I said, cool. The picture. And she said, take off yeah. the headphones. I didn't know you guys were. Oh, she yeah. saw it. There's something in the living room too. There's like so much, like I, like I said guys, we don't have that much fucking long. That's why they think it's a portal, because there's so many. But also this place was on like war grounds and 
families, centuries lived here. Yeah. If you yeah. wanted to... Oh, the same family, I mean. Uh, if you want to debrief, we can debrief out of this house, but like we're, yeah, playing, with, we're playing with fire. Okay, if you want to open this door? I can open it and you want to talk to it? So, um, well, are you going to talk to it? Uh, I didn't think so, no. Oh, <laughs> good shot on, dude. Alright. Ready? Uh. <laughs> same. I'd be like, no, just give me like two minutes. Not even two minutes. How are you guys feeling over here? I don't know. You don't know? Cold. Are you having a good time though? Come yeah. on, it's like the Conjuring House. How many people ever get to do this? I mean, Think yeah. about that. It's the sickest experience, but we have to go to Disneyland after this. <laughs> Literally. Two. Oh shit! I'm just kidding, it's a laundry room. <laughs> oh I was God. like, wait, what? Ooh. Oh fuck. Oh. There's no one in there. Like, I really hate like for there to be a climax, but I don't, there's nothing in there. There's okay. nothing in there? No, it's super clean. Why would he hang out in there, anyways? Yeah, what the? Yeah, what would that be? Well, no, I didn't do laundry. Probably because he needs <laughs> to tell the woman to do it. Get on it. I don't do laundry either, I doubt that he hangs out in there 24 7, but I don't want to say that there's something there when there's not. No, that's perfect. Now Respect. let's get the. So, like, sorry, we were super hyped for that, but. Oh, there's still the basement. They didn't show that at all, that room, towards the series. What's in that door? Tried opening it, it just leads to the other side. Hmm. Well, that's the so house weird. Is so different. Even upstairs, who went into the closet? Was it you? That the yep. closet goes all the way back through the room and then opens up in the hallway? Yeah, it's like a secret hatch. Dude, yeah, and then even over here, I thought was super weird that there's two doors that lead to the same room. Yeah, it just weird. doesn't make any sense. No, well, see, that's where the other one leads. It's like this house is built super strange. So strange. Probably because like energy, like it helps the energy. I don't know. What? Did you not hear that? Did you not hear that? The what? creak? No. No, knocks. The entire fucking door. The it was like a f loud, loud knock right behind. What? You were just so catch everyone up to see. She was just talking about how like scared she is for the basement. We're grabbing all the equipment like right outside where we just were. Right behind me, very, very loud. It was so Ping loud. Ping pong ball. Oh, oh my god. Holy shit, that fucking oh freaked me out. Oh my god. That shit's the worst because, like, I can always see them moving it, and then when shit happens and I don't see it, that's like worse than being able to see it. Right when we turned off the camera to, like, put everything together, they two said giant that, but knocks. Sometimes they don't like being filmed. They don't like being filmed. We spirits don't. A lot mm -hmm. of the time, we don't get it because they prefer not to be seen. Exactly. They can, like, tell when you're filming. It was so like, loud. Like, it sounded like somebody knocked on the front door. Yeah. Ew, Actually, fucking foul. Huh. Whoa, 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 what happened? Fuck. What happened? Something, it felt like, just, like, Jesus, fuck. Is I'm there anything? Right over here. You remember the red. story? No, I don't see the little oh. red. Oh, I think she was, was, like she was right scratching it, it. Was it like right there? Yeah, that's exactly where it was. It literally that? just fucking happened. That hurts so bad. The story of Bathsheba. Bathsheba, that's what she does. She sticks, like, or killed her baby with a needle. Yeah. And then was sticking needles into Carolyn's back, and now she feels it. That's fucking We crazy. should do this fast. I feel like it's time. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. This could be one of the scariest seances we ever do. Three o'clock, conjuring room, one of the most famous haunted houses in the world. The basement is one of, if not the most active room in the entire house. Because there's something that lives down there. Did you hear that? The knocks. Yeah, right up here. I literally stopped and turned around and I like saw something walk through and then I heard the knock. Yeah, I definitely heard that knock too. I almost said wait for two seconds because I knew something was going to happen and I didn't. Like, I didn't even get a chance to, like, finish my thought when it happened. Jesus. Dude, I'm, like, burning right here. It's really just, irritating me. I don't know what it is. I, just I think we get this weird. over with, like... Oh my god, those jeans are so cute. Yeah. Really Let's get it. Terrifying. Time check. I'll have... Uh, oh my god, wait. What's... Oh! Wait, did you get that? What? All the lights just were off and then they just automatically turned on. Is that like, is it like a motion sensor down it's here? It's probably a motion sensor. Okay, okay. No, I just turned on the light switch. 
Oh, oh, good God. There was a rumor story that we haven't told you guys about, about this demon creature thing that crawls on all fours that has a crooked neck because apparently there was somebody down here that committed suicide by hanging. This used to be a daycare for a bunch of kids. It's just so small. Like, how? This, you can see their drawing still right here of a crooked necked figure right there. Ew. And then look at this one. Right oh there. my god, dude. Yeah, the scariest part about that is it's rumored to live in that hole. The Whoa, well. what the fuck? Oh my god. Oh shit. It's like a legit well. It's still like, has a lot oh, of water in it. Wow. That's how old of a house this is. Literally doesn't have air conditioning and has a well in the basement to get water. It is officially three o'clock in the morning in the basement of the conjuring house. Which is our. We got everything down here. We have a second camera up here, second angle, so we can see everything. Increase. increase. And yeah, we're just gonna- 40, it just, you said it increased and it fucking went up to 40. Oh my God, oh, yes. Shit. Okay, we should <sighs> Let's go. I'm gonna listen. So this is something that's called, it's basically what some of the mediums do, sensitives do. So I've done this before, I was connecting with someone who I wasn't able to hear super clearly and I gave them permission to touch my hand and write something out. I don't let things touch me, I don't let them come near me and I'm not giving anything here permission to do either of those things. I'll write out things sometimes that they're trying to say or that they want to get across. I don't know how it works exactly. I don't know why I'm able to do some of the things I do, just I don't know why I speak to the dead. The first thing that I wrote, I'm just gonna, I'm not even gonna say what it was. What does this look like to you? An N? What does this look like? Run? Run. 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 Yeah. This is gonna be our final time trying to talk to something. If there's anything, anybody out there that can hear me and want to make yourself known in any way or communicate with us, now is your chance. We just want to talk. Show us a sign. You're not welcome to touch us. You're not welcome to come near us. Everyone sitting at this table is covered in the- In the presence of detective, the sensor will light up. Arms. Yeah, like the thing is going up really high. It's like, it was in the 40s. It was in the 40s again? Yeah. Everyone in this room is protected by Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. This is a holy place. You are not welcome to touch us. You are not welcome to come near us. This is your place, and I respect that. But we are our own people. Why do you, why do you stay Suddenly. here? Suddenly. I went quiet when I started talking to it like that. Do you see anything around here? No, but I feel everything. Like there's three people. I shouldn't say people because none of them are people. And one of them is standing in the doorway. Is that thing like way bright? This it thing is a REM pod. Lightens up if you see touch. Oh, that's cool. Dude, my back. Yeah? Yeah. What happened what to your bag? Oh, bro. Holy. 2.9. Is there anything over there? That's my problem is I don't see anything. You see anything, Colby? Dude, Nothing's happening yet. Terrifying. Like, I just felt pressure like all along. Oh. Poor Sauce. She keeps getting Rick, wrecked. Pressure. Yeah, like all along, like right here. Without. What was that? I thought that was y'all moving. No. That's not is that your sh Is that your shoe? Is that your shoe? No. Did it say no? That's it just said no. Though. Oh, oh, God. Can we ask it to no. touch this? We should stop. Like right now? Like right now. Like turn off the cameras, we should stop. Or if you guys want to keep going, I don't recommend you do, but this isn't safe. Why? Why? Can you explain why? Is there something here that's. I don't want to say it down here. Is it in this room? Yes. We need to- So that, the thing that they think that Amanda's catching was actually talked about. Actually, we don't know yet. If you guys want to push this, you're more than welcome to. Like, I respect it. If you guys want to be safe, we need to leave. If we're getting something right now, like, this is what we want, right? Yeah, I think this is what we want. I totally understand that. I work with spirits every single day of my life. This isn't something that you want to communicate with. You can cut this totally. Like, if you want to do this for views, like, this is your guys' job. I get that. But this is also... You know the story of what happened here. And that's not something that I want to experience again in my life. And that's what we're about to, like, do.
I don't want to say it down here. Okay, yeah, let's, go. let's go upstairs and talk about it for two seconds. Okay, cool. This is why it's like we do what we do. It is dangerous, sure, but we have to capture it. Exactly, that's the whole point. We wouldn't have traveled across the country for another reason. Okay, so what the fuck is happening? Yeah, what's going on? I see a lot of things. I like always have, I probably always will. Um, I do know how to deal with it. Like I don't want like, not to like toot my own horn or anything, but I'm confident in my abilities just because of what I grew up with. This home is something completely different that I don't think people can understand unless they truly see what I see. And being in this house up here is one thing, but going down into that basement, I'm stronger than a lot of things. I can protect us, I can protect myself. Like, I know my limits, I know my boundaries. I'm not one to be like, I can handle that. Like I said, respect is super important in what we do. Humility is just as important. That's not something that I'm equipped to deal with. It's not something that I can promise to be able to protect you guys from, or really even myself. Do you think that entity was the one that threw? Yes. Across the room? Yes. Really? I, that is whatever was down there with us is something stronger than I have ever come across in my entire life. I felt really good coming here the first time before we left. I was confident. I couldn't see it. But like, that, you could feel it. It was stronger than anything I've ever seen or come across, honestly, that I could even imagine coming across. What do you feel it at? Is it like a body reaction? Entire, or? Did you see me shaking like a fucking leaf? Yeah. Mm -hmm. My entire body hurts. Like the amount of pain that I was in, like literally felt like needles, pins and needles all over my body. And you were feeling needles. I thought I was gonna throw up. It was one thing to like be poked in the back by them. Like I've been touched before, I've had handprints, like that's demonic entities. But what is down there was trying to hurt me because of what I'm able to do. And like I said, I'm not willing to put myself in a position or you guys in a position where we're in harm's way. And I'm pretty sure that's the demon that the family dealt with here. They never left after no. all those years. It's, this is its home. Like, this is where it's going to stay. And I think, I don't want to say like, it's pretty peaceful and it's mellowed out because that's not the case. But it's been waiting for someone like, whether it was me or someone else that came first, it's been waiting for someone like me who's able to do what I do. That thing's fucking smart. So everything else in the house, the, like, how, did you feel it there? Or yeah, did you... everything else in the house I saw, I could feel, I could tell you what it was. Even that little, little boy up in that room, I knew it was demonic. I don't have fear over these things because I do believe in a higher power and I put my faith in that. That's something that I know, I know that God is stronger than it, but I'm not. It's like, all right, oh, let's damn. go down. What are you guys thinking? And I really want to get thrown into a wall. I'm not sure I'm going to fly today. Could you guys feel it down there? Dude, my back. Even, yeah, even. I felt like oh, my whole pressure, just like someone was like, like put their like arms that's like, concerning like when you went like this to my back mm -hmm. I, I felt like that but like my whole like lower back was being pushed it targets people with abilities even as someone who doesn't experience things the same way i do right now i have a bubble and i have god and i literally refuse to experience anything. that's good that's good. good yeah that's how it should be if you guys want to go down there like I, I totally respect it i'm gonna wait here i can pray over you guys I can do anything you want me to do, but like I said, my, like I'm not here to get clout because of you guys. I'm not here because I'm like the Conjuring House is gonna be a cool fucking experience. Like all of those things are bonuses, but I'm here to protect you guys mm -hmm. because I see things you don't. It won't follow you home. It will stay here, but I can't guarantee your safety while you're down there. It's what we signed up for. Yeah. Don't think we can make it this far. It's like, 
It's like peacing out while you can see the finish line. Yeah. I really don't want you guys to yeah, know, but also, I feel like we are targets and no, I don't. We're not going to be there for long. We're just going to go down there, ask a few more questions. If nothing happens, cool. Especially to the them. girls, because obviously Amanda is getting affected and Stoss is getting really affected. So, and the guys are literally nothing's happening to them. Just try. To be fair, point. like I am in more danger than anyone here because of what I do. Like I get that too. So if you guys, if this is something you want to do, do it. And the shit that you're already getting down there, like. It was awesome. You're in the right place, but careful. You got 30 minutes until three o'clock's up. So we try. Let's do it. Uh, just FYI though, we will probably hear every single word, tap, thing. That you guys do because we're right underneath you. Okay, just like whisper like this. That'd be awesome. Hey, set up one in the hallway. Okay? Yeah. Why does Amanda always take her shoes off? Yeah, let's go. The closest behind us. This is why we do YouTube. We can't keep running away. We gotta do it. I'm feeling nervous now. I know. Look, my teeth are chattering. Oh. Brave. You're not brave. No, but it's mocking us. Oh, <laughs> you're right. Do you want to know? Should we try the radio? No, I think that's what it wants us to do. Cold, oh my god. It is much colder it's down It's freezing here. down here. We were saying that earlier, but it's probably because it's just a cellar. This little spirit box just said to use the radio, which is the other spirit box. So what I think we should do is just try this one more time. You can ask questions, and then let's go for it. Yeah, sounds good. Damn, I keep thinking I'm seeing things in my peripherals, but what'll be interesting too is if we ask a question and we think we hear something, again, we have this camera, cut to camera two right now, it's pointing down this hallway, so maybe there is something over there just watching us right now. All right, it's just us now. I know you can see Amanda in she knows you're here, so we know that you're here too. Now. Ugh, I'm, I want to throw up. They need to stop shit showing the second camera. Now is the time to make make yourself known. We want to. I don't even want to look down there. Communicate. If there's anything here, could you give us some sort of sign? Concentrate. You can see there. Are you behind the window? My heart's pounding. Just there. Erase. Erase. Just there. Behind the window, what are you? Go. It's so creepy because literally I, when they first started, I felt like I felt that it was staring from on that wall. Go back. We're not going back yet. We need answers. We can't go now. back. Just you two. No, Ew, I'm feeling tingly. Show us that you're here. Kobe looks so now. scared. Were you, were you the entity that were messing with the parent family? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And my chest is feeling so. I can, I can what see it. What's your goal? But the second. The series that I first watched said that there was just like pranksters, like jokesters that li that like stayed down there. Shut up. What the fuck? Dude, my hands are feeling like all tingly. I'm getting like lightheaded. You can't hear me. What is that thing that's moving? You got it? Is there some way you can make any sort of noise or give us any sign? We just want to have proof that you're here with us. See? This thing just moved. It keeps moving. I don't know if it's because I put my, oh, it could have been my elbow actually. Are you in the hallway? Oh, door. like his knee or By something? By the door in the hallway? I hurt. I hurt. Or I heard, maybe. Close the door. Close the door. The door's closed upstairs. It's already closed upstairs. What's Holy it saying? Holy fuck. 
It just said close the door. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Deep breathe for two seconds. That just went off too. I don't know if it's. I think it's that is your hand. What? Did that make sense? Dude, everything saying? that I asked, it answered perfectly to. What, what? Everything. What type of thing were you asking? It said it was behind there. It said I said where are you? It said look, like right there. It said. Oh my god! I gotta have to I have to watch like. A really happy like movie or something after this. Just you two. I fucking I... look at my goosebumps on my goddamn arms. Holy shit. My lips for some reason feel like tingly. I can't even like like move my face or something. I don't know. It said it was here and it said it showed itself. <sighs> I have a feeling though that something here is what affected Colby badly to get cancer. It showed itself? Yeah. How, what, what? I don't know. I, cause I, I, Did you see anything? No, I've only been looking at There's a window right here, guys, and there's the giant doorway, but like you'll see on the second camera, it's it's maybe it is showing itself. I don't this even want to... It makes me sick looking down there. What he's asking. It's out. so loud. Maybe it's... even put it up to the, the camera. So. That... It's super staticky, super loud. That is on my ear with noise canceling headphones. It's like playing that fucking uh, and I'm not looking at whisper him. challenge. I, I'm not looking at him either. I'm not gonna see his lip like reading or, or moving or anything like that. I'm uh, legit. I know. I don't know. If, yeah, I don't know if this is. Just... Colby's like out of breath. This is scary. Like nerves, but I'm fucking way cold. The nose, energy. Like... The energy is here, and it's it's it was answering every single time. Is the door closed for sure? I, I'm pretty sure I closed the door. Close the door. Okay, I say we keep going. Let me try. Here we go. I'm ready. I can't. Okay. I can't hear. Yeah. Okay. Are you still talking to us? Yes. Holy shit! Do you want to talk to us? It's me. Can you show yourself? In any way, make make another noise, or change a light, or touch this thing right here. Head back. We can't head back until you give us something. We have to prove that you're here. Where are you? Mommy. Are you the same spirit from the original Conjuring Haunting? What? Or change a light or touch this thing right here. Head back. We can't head back until you give us something. We have to prove that you're here. Where are you? Mommy. Are you the same spirit from the orig Unexplained light flash? original- Unexplained lightflash? No conjuring haunting. Oh, I see it. Do you intend to harm us? Do you haunt this house? Planet. Do you haunt the entire planet? Are you trying? Yes. Are Why does it keep doing that? You? Were you the one that possessed Carolyn Perrin? I'm literally so sweaty. And I feel like Can I need to throw Please touch this device, the REM pod in front of us. Make it go blue. Or move something. I don't want this. We can't. We it makes me sick. Show some sort of sound or sign, please. Do you live here in the basement? Stop. We can't stop. Don't. We can't stop. Move. Where do you want us to go? What are you trying to tell us? Nothing. Are you still here to talk to us? Is anything, any entity, any spirit here with us right now? Warren. Warren? Like Ed and Lorraine Warren? Do you know Ed and Lorraine Warren? Money. Why do you still haunt this house? Warrens. From the Warrens? The Dude, did the Warrens open a portal there? Or like brought in more, sorry, Sam. The Warrens are the reason why you stayed? In the original haunting, did the Warrens make this haunting worse? That's what I'm thinking. Prisoner. You feel like a prisoner here? Several. Several. Holy shit! 
He just said a prisoner, and this said several slaves. Are you trapped here in this basement? Yeah. Why are you trapped? Unlock. Unlock what? We want you to show yourself. Make yourself- Be so bub. What is that? Isn't that a demon? Beezlebub? Is that the, the fucking demon thing? I'm down there. You're down here with us right now. Beezlebub. Beezlebub is down here right now. I'm pretty sure they mentioned that in the newer, the series. I don't know if they're going to mention it here, but... Hurry. Are you trying to tell us something? I'm sick. Run. <laughs> to the... Second time, because Amanda got that Left. done. I'm taking this off. <laughs> Colby's so scared. Did you hear Beezlebub? Do you know what that is? It was answering everything perfectly. You said, like, it feels trapped, and then it's a prisoner, and then on the other ghost box, it said several slaves are down here. You said they're down here, run to the left. What, what if the they're trapped? What if... What was that? Did you hear that? Over there, over there, yeah, over there. I think they're trapped down here. They said the door was closed. I think something demonic or Beezlebug himself, dare I say it, has a bunch of people trapped here, soldiers or prisoners. What is Beezlebub? Beezlebub is Satan. Yeah. Oh, fuck. It's a synonym for Satan. There's something. Something. Something monument. Look at the monument. Is there is was there a picture? I mean there was that the crooked the crooked lady, that's it. Fuck, dude, I am getting so cold and chills right now. Me too. Holy shit, dude, there's so many noises. Whatever is down here, make I'm yourself. I'm so scared. Uh, they're so crazy for pushing it. A friend said that they've they've experienced being touched down here. Did you touch my friend Stoss? On her back, did you poke Amanda? Amanda received two needle-like pokes. Was that for me? They're saying that like the like whatever is down there just like jokes around to like scare people. Yeah. What? 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 I think it might have, I don't know, it might have been like a, sp a spider, but something was literally what? just crawling on my arm. Dude, there's, where? Where? Right here. On my arm. It you just scared the fuck out of me. Okay, holy shit. I don't know if this thing wants to talk to us. It, it seems like it, it just did, wants though. to be left alone. It was, yeah, well it kept telling us to run. Yeah, it didn't want to talk to us actually, but it wanted to be freed. Yeah, it's like there's something trapped here. Multiple things trapped here, I think. Like prisoners. Yeah. Okay, it is 3.53 a.m. We got seven minutes, and we're pretty sure we were talking to something, so we decided in the last few minutes we have of Witching Hour, might as well try one last time, because we were getting a lot of stuff. We want something so bad to happen, so you guys can see it. Yeah, no, this is crazy. I mean, every time we're doing this, it's like giving me chills. When we sat down just two seconds ago, coming back to set this up, we said, yo, should we try it one last time? The obvious spirit box said no. Immediately right after and then we like looked at each other like should we actually do this? We decided why not we are here. This is the only time we're gonna do this. Let's just go for it He's a bug I mean right off the bat you it has to be the jokes like the prankster freaking entities He's saying Beezlebub Yeah, are you are you Beezlebub? <laughs> why? Yeah. So you're an evil spirit you're an evil entity. He's the devil. Uh -huh. Did you trap a bunch of prisoners down there? Rise. Is there a god? She is there. But are you more powerful than he is? Bigger. That's where you're wrong. It's time. It's getting colder. It's getting colder. One minute. That's it. 
One minute, one minute to what? What is your mission? What are you trying to accomplish? Freedom. Freedom. Freedom from what? Are you trapped here? My freedom. It said freedom twice. Yeah. What do you need to do to attain that freedom? All of them. There was a fucking, did you guys hear that? That was a footstep upstairs. Was that you that just made that noise? Is that you by the staircase? Guys, there's something by the staircase. Evil. Right now, go. Damn it, bye. Holy fuck, dude. I'm go. Scared. We understand that you want us to go. If you want us to leave, show us one more time that you can hear us, that you're clear. Crazy. God's on our side. God is with us right now. There's nothing you can do to hurt us, but. I'm going up with them. Who, wait, with them, who? Who's? Seven. Holy fuck. What? It just got really loud and screamed. Dude, there's noises on the staircase. Right like, now? Like it was like a minute ago, two minutes ago. Holy noise fuck. Noise footsteps and it says I'm going up. Let's go. Dude, that literally scared the fuck out of me. Get this stuff later? What did I say? Bro, Cas says casket. What the fuck? Let's go, let's yeah. go. There's some noises down here. Oh, what the fuck? How was it locked? Maybe I was just this jammed or something like that. Don't you just pull it like that? No. No, it locked. So we were here like yeah. 20, not even 20 minutes ago when you guys were down there and we heard this. We heard the door, yeah. Like that and we heard that. And we were like, we Close didn't Close the door. It no, said close the it. door down there. It did, like 10 minutes ago, well, it said I, close the said, door. I heard it, yeah. Heard it. I was like, it. That, uh, that was the door locking. One of us was like, no, it's not the door. Like, yeah. it's probably you guys down in the basement. Yeah. And then we, I, I was I was sure it was the fucking door just because I heard you. And when we like, heard you guys trying to open it, we came in and it was like locked. It was like... Just but like this that. was flipped. Yeah, that's it was like that's flipped. Locked. Like and look, I can't even flip it anymore. Like I was panicking and did. Look, it's chipping the paint. What the fuck? Wait, yeah. that it was like, that so way? Look, I broke a fucking nail doing that for you guys. What the fuck? <laughs> just so just now it was locked. Just yes, now, just we, now. We, we were shaking we heard it and you were shaking it. Open it. We got up from the couch. We were but, in. Are you guys okay up here? Because it said I'm going up. That's what I heard. I said, go the fuck back down. You guys are good, though? Yeah. Trapped in the Beasel boat. I don't know if it was Satan it himself or just something demonic trying you to mask itself. fucking... Stuff. Did you grab my notebook? No. I wrote chant. I wrote chant in there. It was Beasel boat. Come here, come here, come here. I said what? Chant. Join me. Chant. No fucking Escape. way. Escape. That was visited. That, that was the very, very first thing when I was sitting here and I was writing down the things I was hearing and I looked at you guys and I went, chant. It got so fucking cold in here. You got, yeah, I know. You guys, did you guys yeah. 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 have to go? Yeah, no, they said, they said it's coming up and like, that we were in Did you room. say like you can't come with me? Like, did you not guys yet. like end? No, no, no yeah, not, not yet. yet. We still left our stuff down there too. Dude. Shit. We just came to check up on you because I literally said like five seconds ago, I'm going up. And then it locked you guys out yeah, away from us. Maybe I'm just... Honestly, I could just be a dumbass. Don't know no. how to do these like fucking weird doors. Like, look at these. What what's how the door is? That? I don't even know how to work that. So you heard from over there that that locked randomly while we were asking questions we over there. We heard this. We heard like the metal go. So who the fuck you guys was this? You probably hear it in your video. It was so loud. Stop. What? I think it's time. I think it's time too. That's fucking insane. Hey, do we need to stick on the bells and the stuff? Yeah, do we? Oh, yeah, we gotta do all of that. <laughs> I think there's a bunch of soldiers trapped here by a demon. It literally says Under. like slaves or se several slaves being prisoners here. Okay, we don't need to talk about it right now. Like, it's just, literally. Just, literally. Let's just go. Let's then. grab the scissors and cut those. The ping pong ball underneath Guys, the fucking door. Yeah, 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 yeah. What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? All right. Do you hear it again? What's I'm, happening? What's I'm going to get out of here right now. Just whistle again. Shh. What's whistling? <laughs> oh, poor cat. She's Stop. so scared. Stop doing it. Stop it because it did it back to you. I want to leave. Now.
Look, it's light outside. It's fucking light outside. We stayed overnight. We did At it. At the real conjuring house. We actually did it. Boom. Oh, Follow us. You stay. We out. We out. We yeah. out of here. I have no idea how we did that. I don't either. <laughs> I have no, no idea. idea how we did like, no that. Every minute was horrible. Not a good thing happened in there. What no, the like, fuck? Are you kidding? Was awesome. I, it was not. The fact, like, how much they feel like so much lighter just by stepping outside is insane. I have not eaten. I didn't even eat my McDonald's because I felt so sick. And now, the relieving, I'm starving. And we have to go back. This gets 250k likes. Yes, you heard that right, guys. Remember, 250,000 likes. Colby and I are going to return to the Conjuring house this year alone. Look, why do we do two? Can we make a 500,000? 300,000. We, already, please we, boost we already, we already promised that. God though. damn it. Please, guys, just like this, all right? Please like it. We need to know that you... We need to know <laughs> that you like this stuff. Honest to God, I think that was the most famous haunted location we've ever been at. We oh gotta my step God. it up, guys. We're gonna be doing the craziest haunted places. And again, subscribe because we're just getting started. Sam we are officially back to haunted. You're right. Let us know any other top 10 haunted locations in the world. We are trying to hit the top 10 list. See you guys next time with a banger video. Hope you enjoyed. Adios. That was good. Their editing is so much more different. I think this video was like maybe three years ago. Our mission is to prove to the world as well as ourselves that there is something else out there. This life is about shared experiences, so we capture our experiences to share this with the family on YouTube, with this family. None of this would be possible without the incredible support you have given us in the past six years. Aww. It's still going, baby, let's go! So as always, thank you for watching. Yay! <sighs> That was super intense. Yeah, it's just like such a different approach to this investigation. And I, I mean, I feel like they usually try to push boundaries, which is like very scary in my opinion. I mean, that's why I, I also like to enjoy because I like them trying to prove I mean, there's just so many, so much debugging and yeah, so this, so this video was 2021. It's so crazy. It's 2024, three years later and they're doing it. But I just like, I don't know. I feel like there are the trickster entities that the newer series was talking about in the basement, which wasn't mentioned. There's just a lot, I feel, that, like, Abigail, I wonder if she was, like, the girl with the, you know, the, the dress. I'm curious about that. It's just so different. I don't know. I liked it. So if you like this, if you like this video and my, and my reaction, please be sure to like and subscribe. And comment down below, if you guys watch both of the series, like, this one and then their newest one, let me know which one you prefer. I obviously liked the this the people who are owning who owned Cody and Jennifer I think Corey and Jennifer I'm so sorry I can't remember the people who own it now I like them a lot better than the new person who is very there's a lot of drama happening so Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!